Hi there, it's Gloria with Glory Be Resale, and I'm here with What Sold Last Week. And that would have been from October, uh, October 7th to the 13th. And the first thing to sell was on eBay, this leather Massimo Duddy dress. And this sold for $211.65. Cost to me on it was $24.99. Next item to sell was this black genuine leather belt. This I took an offer for $20.00. The cost to me on it was $2.99. Next item was this Christopher Banks cat shirt. And this sold for $20. I'm sorry, $17. And the cost to me on it was $1. Next item to sell was this Jane and Delancey floral patchwork blouse. And this one sold for the full asking price of $25. Cost to me was $4.99. Next item to sell was this vintage set of six mod psychedelic glasses, rock glasses. These sold, I took an offer of $75. The cost to me on these was $3. Next item to sell was this Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt and this sold, I took an offer of $15. And some of these I just wanted to take offers and move along. Uh, T-shirts aren't something I usually pick up, so this one I picked up for $2.75. Next item was an item that I've had forever. Happy to see it go gone. And this is the Rag and Bone sweater. This sold for twenty dollars and the cost to me on it was five dollars and forty nine cents so happy to see it going next item was this Maeve sleeveless sweater and this one sold for eighteen dollars and the cost to me on it was $4.49. Next item to sell was this NF black suede button down long sleeve shirt. And this one I took an offer of $45. The cost to me on this one was $3.25. Next item was this vintage North Face men's jacket. And this one I took an offer of, or I sent out an offer of $27.20. And the cost to me on it was $6.49. Next item over on Posh it was actually a bundle of this Talbot's long sweater robe. And this uh, Ralph Lauren poncho, which is fairly new. If you've watched any of my other videos, you probably saw this. I picked this up recently. Nice poncho and a pure Jill 
sweater vest. And I'd say 20. I'm trying to figure out what I would have paid for that. This is 649. 649. I believe probably about $15 for the three of them. And my earnings on this bundle were $57.56. That was my earnings after fees. And then minus the, the, what it, my cost of goods were. So, a decent profit. Again, Poshmark has not been very good lately, so I've tried to. I was happy to see um, an offer come in on a bundle and uh, happy to make a deal. Next item over on Poshmark was this G for Free men's messenger bag, and this sold for $18. And the cost to me on it was three dollars. Next to sell over on Poshmark was another bundle, and this was a Willow Weaver's Bunratty Castle sweater, which was a weird. I've had this a long time too. It was a weird like um tweed material type pullover sweatshirt. I feel like it was fully lined too. But uh, I just thought it was kind of cool because I really never saw one like it. And it's um, a vintage. So, but I've had it a while. And this is a vest I picked up recently, which was a green tweed vest. And that would have been four forty nine. The other one, I believe, was I don't know if it was four ninety nine or five forty nine. But anyway, and for the two of those, hmm. The two of them was fifty dollars. My total earnings was forty three forty seven. And again, minus what I paid, I would say about eleven dollars. But again, I have had that switch that shirt. I don't think I'd rush to buy one again. I just had never seen one like it. <clears throat> And I'm thinking that's an old brand, Bunratty. There used to be a club in downtown Boston in the 70s, Bunratty's. That was kind of a punk bar. Down that rabbit hole, I guess. <laughs> um, this is a vintage Pendleton uh, virgin wool plaid skirt. And this one, I took an offer of $25. The cost to me on it was $5.49. Next item was this St. John's two-piece, um, what do you call it? Then her signature knit sweater, jacket, and pants with stirrups. I took an offer of fifty dollars. I've had this long enough to these just don't sell like they used to. So I paid fourteen dollars fourteen ninety nine for it. I took an offer of fifty dollars, moved it along. Next item was this vintage nineteen ninety Harvard sweatshirt and somebody offered me $28 and I accepted that. The cost to me on it was $6.49. Next item was on Macari and this was a Pendleton wool cardigan and I think it was kind of like a jacket really. And 
I took an offer of $24 for this, and the cost to me on it was $3.25. Next item was this wood Christmas plaque. I picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it for $22 on Macari. And again, Macari's not taking uh, any kind of selling fee. So just do $2 when you transfer your money. Over on Etsy, I sold this copper brass rose and I bought this for a dollar and sold it for $29. Now over in Depop, surprising this week, because uh, I am not a big fan, but for some reason last week I did get four orders over there. So first one was this Vintage Alan Stewart Men's Brown Diamond Collared Zip Neck uh, Sweater. Kind of like a, it's kind of like a jersey knit sweater or just top. But anyway, cost me on it was $6.49 and sold for $30. Next item was this Breckenridge Apple Zip-Up Sweatshirt. Very cute for this, for this platform. Um, and this sold for $25. The cost to me on it was $6.49. next item to sell and if you wouldn't mind if you give me a like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it thank you and the next item to sell was this Christopher and Banks hand embroidered hand embroidered which was just that stripe across the front here cardigan sweater and this one I bought for one dollar and sold it for twenty two and the last item to sell, which is also something that I bought recently, and this is a Christopher and Banks bird, um, all embroidered birds on branches, vest, sweater vest. And this one cost to me on it was $4.99, and I sold it for $27. And that was everything that I sold last week. So again, if you wouldn't mind giving me a like and subscribe. And hopefully your sales have been good. Better than mine maybe. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to keep working away here. And hopefully the sales will get better and better to fill in this fourth quarter coming up. And, I'm sorry, we're already in it. We're already in the fourth quarter. So, hopefully it'll just pick up and get better and better. I actually usually do better after Christmas, but, you know, again, hopefully I'll just get some more sales. And I hope you will, too. I will see you next time, and thanks for watching.